me choose you. I got into a fight with the on way, and Cow Cow was impressed with my abilities, so I went to join him. At the capital, this fellow named Dong Zhuo thinks he's bigger than the emperor and has been causing trouble for the land. We're not gonna let him get away with that. Cow Cow joined with his friend Yuan Shao, and together they formed an army to defeat Dong Zhuo. Okay, I have to work together with the Yan Wei and all of them and do my best. So you're Cow Cow's officer, Xu Zhu. <laughs> How can a big fat lout like you actually be of any use on the battlefield? Oh well, we are here now to oust the tyrant Dong Zhuo. I'm sure you will perform even better with I, the great Yuan Shao, leading the attack. Our target is Dong Zhuo. However, his officer Lu Bu will make a tough stand at the Hulao Gate. He must first break through the gate and then get Dong Zhuo. This villain pretends to serve the Emperor, but only serves himself. He shall pay, pay with his life! But, everybody follow me, and we shall reclaim the capital. The Han must be returned to its former glory! Like we're the first ones here. Let's go. We're after one thing and one thing only. Dong Zhuo's head. Choose you. Together we can stop them. The defense base. Careful. It will put up a tough fight. Did you think you could overcome this base? They fell for it. Attack! <laughs> Attack base. Destroy it before it does any harm. I shall teach you the basics of strength. Some battles you win, and some battles you lose. One down, many more to go. They're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige Formation is crumbling. Forward! Retreat is an acceptable strategy. One down! Many more to go! Ah! 
forward. Let's bring these scoundrels down for good. <laughs> Go and attack the enemy camp! That is impressive! Don't lose a second time. One down, many more to go. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. One down, many more to go. Finish them off. Come, hit me with everything you got. to attack. Stay away from Lu Bu. Make your way around and aim for Dong Zhuo. I shall show no mercy. Speed is of the essence. Follow me. I won't be denied next time. One down, many more to go. Worthless scum. I'll stomp you into a bloody mess. You insects, be gone! You have something more important to do. Now go! Okay. Now then, how about you try picking a fight with me? 
Go on ahead. I'll take care of things here. You seem pretty confident. Let's finish him, Shuzu! Cowards! Look back to your holes and hide! Overcome this base. You shall go no further. I would rather live and redeem myself than die in shame. One down, many more to go. Brainless fools, do you think I'll just roll over and die? I shall squash you beneath my feet! Yeah! Blue Boo! Don't let them near me! My life... of pleasure... gone! One down, many more to go! We have defeated the rebel leader, Dong Zhuo. I would like to thank each member of the Allied forces that participated in this struggle. As your leader, I am proud of you all. Defeated Dong Zhuo at Hu Lao Gate, and the name of Cao Cao spread across the land. However, there are just as many people who would be his enemy as well. Previously, Chang Shu attacked us in the middle of the night. Cao Cao managed to escape, but Yan Wei gave his life to help ensure that he did. I'm lonely without the Anway here, and worried. But this is not the time to cry. We have to keep working hard and protect Lord Cow Cow. Chu Zhu, now that Dion Wei is God, you are the only one I can trust to protect me. As of this moment, I expect you to work twice as hard in order to make up for the loss of Dian Wei. In this battle, I want you to pursue Liu Bei, who is trying to escape to Zhangling and slay him. If anyone gets in your way, be they peasant or soldier, you are to show them no mercy. The enemy is desperate. Who knows what they'll do? However, with your unparalleled bravery and speed, I know that you shall overtake Liu Bei in an instant. He ain't here anymore. Don't worry, I'll do his part as well.
I will do my best to protect you, Lord Cow Cow. Whatever you do, don't let the Yu Bei get away. No one gets by here. Absolutely no one. <laughs> This bridge belongs to me, and the toll for passage is death! Hey! Anybody who wants death, come and get it! Those who stand in my way do so at their own risk. Prepare yourself! You dare face the dragon of Cheng Shan? How did he survive that bloodbath all on his own? Impressive. Next time I shall emerge victorious. One down, many more to go. Well done. You are a true warrior. That's it for me. I sure hope my brother's okay. War is far more a battle of wits than of swords. Are you prepared to face me? on your might. Things aren't going so well. Retreat! One down, many more to go. The time is now. Run them through. Supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. Some things are worth fighting for. 
We mustn't give up. shall depend on your might. The time is now. Master Liu Bei, first of all, allow these flames to light your path. The road ahead will be long but the destination is certain. Retreat is an acceptable strategy. One down, many more to go. This is one of Zhuge Liang's tactics, the sleeping dragon. You shall suffer for that. Formation is crumbling. Forward! This withdrawal is part of my plan. One down! Many more to go! As long as the people are suffering, I shall fight for them! One down, many more to go! The battle has reached its conclusion. Liu Bei abandoned his people, and now they are in misery. However, they bring it upon themselves by trusting in one such as him. If we can keep this up, then all of those opposed to us will surrender without incident. Our dreams of a land unified under our rule shall soon be realized. managed to chase down Liu Bei, but somehow he managed to escape. Don't worry, Cao Cao. We'll get him next time. This time, our opponents are Ma Chao and Pang Dei of Guangzhou. They're afraid of Cao Cao, so they are trying to team up and defeat him. Also, it seems that Ma Chao thinks of Cao Cao as an enemy to his family. But as long as we are around, we will not let him touch our lord. Zhu Zhu, forget about Liu Bei for now. We'll be busy at Jing fighting with Wu and will not be able to move. In the meantime, we will go and attack Guangzhang. The regional lords of Guangzhang have all banded together and assembled at Tong Yi. I shall move north and cross the river in order to attack the enemy from behind. Zhu Zhu, I want you to cross the river with me. There are indeed powerful warriors within their ranks, but they should be no match for you. I'm counting on you. Draw 
draw the enemy out with a direct attack on Tong Gate. Shu Zhu and I will cross the Yellow River and strike their rear. <laughs> shall show no mercy. I won't be denied next time. One down, many more to go. Okay, cross the river and hit them from behind. You feasts of Guan Chang, do you think that you can stop me? Do not falter. We must cross quickly. Now, move it! What? Cao Cao is moving north? You're trying to box us in. Don't let it happen. I shall show no mercy. Here I am. Shu Huang has arrived. I won't be denied next time. One down, many more to go. I will protect Tong Gate and all of Guangzhou. Now you face me! You must be an evil man if you're trying to kill Lord Cao Cao! Come on! Ma Chao runs and hides from no one! I'll never give in to the likes of you! I'll protect Lord Coco with my life! Get lost, I have no interest in you! A worthy opponent! I'm looking forward to the rematch! One down, many more to go! You truly are a mighty warrior! Shall we dance through the enemy camp? It's about time I faced a worthy opponent! One down! Many more to go! Attack! Don't give them a chance to breathe! We'll cross the Wei Shui and join the attack on Cao Cao! Time to show them the results of our training! So you must be looking for trouble. Defense was tighter in the north than I expected. Han Sui is an old friend of our masters. Perhaps it's time I pay a visit to my friend on their side. Get rid of the officers around Han Sui and isolate them.
It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. One down, many more to go. If they're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige them. You're by yourself. You must have some courage. Fellow warrior, allow me to offer a helping hand. I must retreat. For now. One down, many more to go. Such an impressive feat of skill. Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. Crush them beneath us! Now you've made me angry. Speed is of the essence! Follow me! Try to take the base! Stop them! It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. One down, many more to go. Let's put our differences aside and discuss it in times. Cow Cow, what is going on here? Hit me with everything you got! Why don't you give up already? Now! Air tongue gate asunder! I must retreat. For now. One down! Many more to go! Now it's our turn! Our attack shall be a thing of beauty! Now is our chance to finish this! Attack without mercy! Some believe that Guangzhou is the world. Some, in taking the world, would overrun Guangzhou. If no compromise can be reached, then they have no choice left but to fight. I am Pang Day. With my blade firmly in hand, I will stand for Guan Zhao. What you have done is unforgivable. 
Trying to cause trouble with your dirty tricks. I see you have a keen sense of perception. I could make use of someone like you on my side. As a gentleman of Guanzhou, I must stop. If you're a true warrior, then I shall not hold back. I have defeated many of the regional lords of Guanzhou. Those remaining shall definitely cause us problems when we attempt to take the land. We must dispose of them now while we still can. Once we subdue Guanzhou, our forthcoming strategy should be easier to develop. Let us continue on the path to unifying the land beneath our rule. A new body, this body got. Our forces will hereby engage Liu Bei at Mount Dingjun. Since Mount Tiandang is already in their hands, this battle will determine who will ultimately control Guan Zhang. Liu Bei will appoint that fossil Guang Zhang to lead their attack against our main camp. Also, be wary of enemy attacks from the sides of the mountain. Xu Zhu, I need you to head to Mount Dingjun and defend that position. Show me the same valor that you showed at Tang Gate earlier. I'm relying on you. Excuse me, General. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, just returning a greeting. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime, pal. So, shall we get started then? Stay put. Hold out until our master comes. Huh? Who's that? Up yonder? Am I of interest to you, innocent child? Cow Cow's designs lead only to chaos. Why fight for him? Huh? What are you saying? Move out! Crush any who stand in your way! Let me ask you a question. Why do you fight? Hey, where are you going? You better not lay a hand on Lord Cow Cow! <laughs> Crazy old windbag! Defeat. It all means very little in the end. One down, many more to go. Hm. Cow Cow is still protected indeed. Oh, 
second time. One down! Many more to go! for trouble. a worthy opponent. One down! Many more to go! It's not over yet! an acceptable strategy. One down! Many more to go! Second time. One down, many more to go. You must be looking for trouble. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. One down, many more to go.
You rookies, taste the blade of an expert warrior! Foolish child, did you think you were any match for the great Huang Zhong? I'll put a stop to you! Huh? Reinforcements? Excellent! Get cocky, young'un! I'm fully prepared to fight to the death! If you fight long enough, you'll be defeated eventually. One down, many more to go. I dealt with you sooner. One down, many more to go! Sorry I'm late, Shaho Yuan. Good work, everyone! Now, for the counterattack! Let's round them up and squash them! Stop! At once! We must strive to be beautiful above all else! The enemy formation is crumbling! Forward! How? Oh. One down, many more to go! We will never give in to a scoundrel's rule! We have a chance to win this! Speed is of the essence! Follow me! Now, attack! Attack without mercy! Here, face the 
the dragon of Cheng Shan? As long as the people are suffering, I shall fight for them! One down, many more to go! The strength of the Shu army was impressive, not enough to make a difference. We have seized total control of Han Zhang and hindered Shu's movements. We seal off Mount Dingjun, and Shu will be unable to move. Should we continue and try to finish them off for good? Or should we turn our attention to dealing with Wu first? Shortly after the Battle of Mount Dingjun, Cao Cao died. Apparently, he was not feeling so well. We all miss him. Having taken over for his father, Cao Pi prepared a large army at the castle in Heifei to defeat an attacking army from Wu. Although both Cao Cao and Dian Wei are gone, everybody's sacrifices were not for nothing. It is up to us to see this through to the end. Do those fools of Wu really think they can defeat us simply because we are currently at war with Shu? Very well then, we shall eradicate them as well. Their forces are merely taking a position. Wu considers this to be the final battle. Therefore, they shall be coming at us with everything they have. Defend the castle with your lives, and only attack when the enemy begins to show signs of fatigue. 
You must fight this battle as if it were your last. What? What? Whose fleet is this? Wu! Wu is attacking! If we win this battle, the kingdom of Wu will be finished. You will have realized your father's ambitions for the land. Not quite. His ambitions mean nothing to me. I fight only for myself and nobody else. This land is mine. Now we shall forever seal the fate of Wu. Any more to go? Cow-cow is Always plotting against Lord Cow Cow, weren't you? And I'll bet you're the one responsible for his death, too. Ignorance may be bliss, but it sure is pathetic. Shut up! You're going to pay for what you did. You're up to no good. I suppose I have no choice but to stay here. One down, many more to go. Only the strong can succeed to great ambition. There is still some glory left for the taking.
Many more to go! I could use somebody like you. We must keep their rams away from the castle. Destroy them before they break through our walls. Something's wrong. This is too easy. I can see right through their plan. and continue attacking the walls. The enemy! The enemy is on the mountain! They've outsmarted me! All units, return to the castle! Left unfulfilled. One down, many more to go.
Treachery shall not go unpunished. One down, many more to go. Finish them off. Shall we attack, knowing it's probably a trap? You've been training hard! 
So this is to be my final battle. One down, many more to go. So it is a trap, but still no match for us. dealing with. One step ahead of them. It is time. Prepare to counterattack. Did you think you could break through our forces? Now, attack! <laughs> Let me show you the fighting spirit of the Soon family. Coming to fight alone? How foolish! Ha! Just as I expected! Now you'll see what I'm really made of! Time to meet my end. One down, 
Many more to go! Finish them all. Witness the fighting spirit of the Soon family of Blue. This battle will be over once I take your head. I will never abandon the dreams of my kingdom. Look out below! I have let my father and brother down. One down, many more to go! I should have expected this from Wu, to cause this much trouble for our army. This truly was a fitting battle with which to sound the end of the Three Kingdoms era. With Shu and Wu both gone, there are none left to oppose Wei's ownership of the land. <laughs> I think I might actually kind of miss them. Perhaps it is nothing. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Xu Zhu, although a simple-minded fellow, was a huge man who is said to have had the strength to drag even an ox. Once, he alone protected his village against a group of marauding bandits. One day, Cao Cao marched into Xu Zhu's village and demanded food for his army. Xu Zhu was infuriated at this demand and fought with Dian Wei. Cao Cao was very impressed with Xu Zhu, who even Dian Wei admitted was his equal in strength. Xu Zhu became a part of Cao Cao's army and served alongside Dian Wei as one of his bodyguards. Cao Cao was fond of Xu Zhu's charming character and his ferociousness during battle comparing him to a tiger on the battlefield. After Dian Wei's death at the Battle of Fan Castle, Xu Zhu swore to himself that he would protect Cao Cao. Soon after, Ma Chao would move his armies from Xiliang to attack Cao Cao at Tong Gate. Xu Zhu would take on Mao Chao, fighting valiantly and preventing his advance. Ma Chao was genuinely impressed and was said to have remarked, I have never encountered such a powerful foe. Xu Zhu continued to serve Wei even after Cao Cao's death. However, he was never fond of fighting and eventually left the army to enjoy a more relaxed and peaceful way of life. These tales, long forgotten in the flows of time, are about the legends of which no one can recall.
ลุยขาวขาวที่อ่อนเว้ยตอน so tired of all this fighting Master Shu Shu do you think you could give us a hand with this rock I want is a field where I could grow some rice. Wait and see. 